using the tilde, you're going to look at three different ways to locate JavaScript files that are being included into the web page somehow, but the JavaScript itself is not displayed in the source code of the page. So finding these files can be useful because JavaScript can be used to do validation. Sometimes it's used to do some type of authentication and sometimes it's used to store things into HTML5 web storage. Of course, using JavaScript for validation is fine as long as the server side repeats the validation, but a developer should never rely on it. Also, using JavaScript for authentication in any case is ill-advised because it's trivial to bypass. So, we'll look at a few different ways using the HTML5 storage page. This page does contain some JavaScript include files that add secret values to the session storage, but just doing a right click and a view page source doesn't reveal any of these secret values getting set. There is some JavaScript on the page, but it doesn't appear to actually be setting any values. So, I will look at three different ways. One way in Firefox is pretty straightforward. If you right click and then say view page source, although you won't see the included JavaScript on the page, you will see links to it. So if we look for the source attribute, we can see that JavaScript bookmark site and some smooth menu items are being included along with some jQuery. So let's do a search on source with control F. And then we'll search for source equals, highlight all, and then cycle through them till we see what we're looking for. And down here at the bottom, we see that there's a reference to a file called JavaScript and HTML5secrets.js. And the Firefox view source, you can actually just click on that hyperlink and it'll take you to that item and we see we found our target JavaScript. And that's a fine way to do it, but Firefox is not always going to be available. Starting over and using the same method as before, we're going to start by saying view page source. We're going to search for the source equals until we see the one we're looking for. Go a little bit faster this time. And we're going to note that from the current directory, the folder is JavaScript HTML5-secrets.js. Just to avoid typing, we'll go ahead and copy that. And this will work in any browser. Now we can try to use the page attribute, but that may not work. Depends on whether or not the page attribute can use relative paths. And in this case of Matilda, it did work. We sent in what page we wanted and it came back. But assuming this was just a regular site that didn't have a page attribute, we could also just paste in the full path, localhost Matilda, JavaScript folder, HTML5 secrets, hit enter, and we see we can get to the secrets that way as well. Let's look at one more way. In Burp Suite, let's turn the intercept on. We're going to go back. Actually, we should probably turn the intercept off until we get to the page. And we'll refresh the page. Now we're going to go to Proxy, and the sub tab is Options. We're going to disable not including .js files, which this filter does. And then we're going to include a filter of body of the response matches storage.set because those session storages are going to say session storage.set item. We'll move that up. And with the intercept on, refresh the page forward the request, forward the first response, and our second response, we have captured that file being transmitted.